In this video I'll be showing you how to activate the power around the map and also access the Pack-a-Punch machine on the map Firebase Z. To start off with, the location of the Pack-a-Punch is a very easy spot to find. As soon as you spawn into the map within the courtyard, if you head over to the atrium part, you will see where this is because it will have a marker showing you the name Ravenov, which is one of the guys you can talk to in this map. Head over to where his marker is, you will see next to him on the left hand side is the Pack-a-Punch machine. Of course, we can't use it just yet as we need to activate it. In order to activate the back a bunch machine we need to turn on three different generators throughout the map. In order to activate these generators we need to first teleport over to the main facility where they are located. So heading from the courtyard if you open the door to go up to the top of the roof through this house here and then come over to this giant teleporter here on the roof interact with the teleporter and this will teleport you over to the facility. It's at this point in the video where I'm actually going to show you from this exact spot where we are how to get to every single generator and how each generator works. I will always use the helipad area of the map in order to guide you to each generator. To start off with if you come from the helipad area whilst looking at the teleporter that you came through in order to get to the helipad area if you come over to this left hand gate over here and then come through this little area here and then you will notice that you'll get to a place called the military command come inside this area and then you will eventually see a marker that says the ether reactor. This is the reactor that we will need to turn on. All these reactors work in the same way. There will be a giant reactor itself in the middle that you will need to turn on and power up. But there are also three other generators that are located around the main reactor itself. The idea of this is you basically need to find where each of these generators is located. When you activate and start the ether reactor you need to protect these little generators as what will happen is they will turn on and the zombies will spawn in and try to destroy them. You will notice when you actually start this as well that you will be able to see how much damage overall these generators are taking as there will be a little bar that will tell you on the side. The generators for the first Ava reactor, two of them are located outside on the opposite side of the reactor and one is located just on the inside near one of the other generators. Once you are ready come up to the main reactor itself and activate it. This will cost you 500 points or essence every time when you want to activate one of these. Once you activate the reactor you will notice that all three generators around it will start to glow a bluey purple colour. This is like a mini lockdown event effectively and the idea here is you need to get enough charge in order to power the main reactor in the middle. Just protect these generators from being destroyed by the zombies, kill the zombies within the areas where the generators are located and this will suck up the souls to the main reactor itself. Eventually once the charge bar gets all the way to the top which is the purple bar then you have completed the reactor and you will see a massive explosion like this happen which will indicate that you have finished the little mini lockdown event. You've now activated the reactor over here on this part of the map. This will now open up some of the doors that couldn't be opened up before normally and will also turn on the power for perks and also jump pads around the area. Once again coming from the helipad area if you come through the middle gate this time and head over to these stairs over here you will come to a building called the data center and once inside here again you will find the Ava reactor down the bottom of these spiral stairs remember where all the generators are located by looking around there are two located downstairs and there's one located upstairs in the building once again the same process as earlier activate the Ava reactor defend the generators and get enough souls in order to finish powering up the Ava reactor the final reactor we're going to go through the other door to the right this time and if you come through here and head up this staircase where there's a purple arrow telling you where the power is located or in this case the generator and go along this walkway here come up this staircase here where you will eventually come to a place called the mission control area and once again locate where each of the mini generators are there is one upstairs as soon as you come through the door back there and there are two downstairs bear in mind that one of these generators is located underneath the staircase. Once again repeat the same process as the previous two Ava reactors from earlier by defending the generators and getting enough souls. Once you've completed this you have activated all the generators around the map. This will now turn on power throughout the whole of this area of the map. You will have all the jump pads activated, you will have all the perks activated and all the doors that could not be opened via points or essence will now be open. You will also now have activated the Pack-a-Punch machine.
machine for use. Head back to the helipad and come back over to the teleporter that you used earlier to get here. Interact with that teleporter and it will teleport you back to the courtyard area that you spawned in at the beginning of the game. Now if you head down to the courtyard and head over to the atrium where Ravenov was, you should now notice once you approach the pack a punch machine it will not activate and you will be able to use it. So now you will be able to walk up to the pack a punch machine and use it to upgrade your weapons as much as you like. And otherwise that's all there is to this guide, I hope you guys found it useful. If you need a guide for anything else Firebase C then I will leave a link to the playlist down in the description as well as the big comment. And other than that I will see you all in the next Firebase C video very soon. Be charged and ready for battle.